Hi, Soul Sisters. It's me, Jennifer Jade. I'm so excited to pop in here with you live tonight. I know it's a little bit late um, for some of you, so it's okay if you're watching the replay. Please do drop some comments below if you're watching the replay and let me know if you resonate with what I'm about to share. So today it just happened that I had four one-on-one -on -one sessions. I actually don't even remember the last time that I did four one-on-one -on -one sessions um, in one day, let alone um, on a regular basis because it's not something I even publicly offer anymore. But it just so happened that the universe brought me these four sessions today for various reasons and I have to tell you I am so fired up right now. Hey Anna, how are you? Ah, yay, I'm so happy you're here. Um, because there's something that I feel really called to share. It's something that really tripped me up in my own business and just from working with clients, whether it's in group or one-on-one, -on -one, I see um, I'm not the only one that it's tripping up. So what I'm really encouraging you to do is instead of asking what do I have to offer the world and what does the world want for me and you know what gifts do I have that other people would want from me what would really um, what would sell well what is a good thing to base a business on um, I really want you to shift that I encourage you to shift that into what is the message that I feel fired up to share what is the message that I cannot leave this planet until I have shared it with the world, until I have empowered as many people as possible with this message? Here's the difference. When you're asking yourself, what does the world want from me? Um, will they buy this from me? Will they, will, will, is this sellable? Is this concept sellable? Um, you're starting to lose a bit of your integrity and even your purpose because you're trying to mold it into your perception of what you think is sellable or of what you think people want from you. If you're familiar with, hi Tammy, if you're familiar with the book, um, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, which is an amazing book and I cannot recommend it highly enough, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks, get it on Audible if you have the Audible app. Um, if you are offering your gifts or your message or your business in such a way that you're doing things that you know people will pay from you or other people think that you're good at and yet it's not necessarily something that you're fired up about, this is something that Gay Hendricks would refer to as your zone of excellence. So for me there was a time when I loved photography. I still love photography, just not the business of being a photographer as my main source of income and yet when I pulled away from that profession a lot of people were like Jen what are you doing oh my gosh you're so good we we, we were hoping you were gonna shoot our wedding you should still be a photographer don't throw in the towel and um, it had me start second-guessing myself a little bit like oh this is what people want from me maybe I should keep doing this on the side or keep doing it a little bit and that's where I would lose my integrity because my passion wasn't there anymore so that became a zone of excellence. Maybe it's something I'm good at. Maybe it's something that people want from me, but it was no longer what I wanted to share with the world. So um, there's a difference there. Bringing it into a, a present day example. You know, I'll use myself as an example and, and hopefully this will illustrate for you in, in your own life and your own endeavors. Um, you know, really wanting to teach on finding your own voice, finding your purpose, connecting with your intuition, referring to your own inner guide before taking actions in your life and really feeling into what is right for you and what is true for you um, and, and learning how to do that in such a natural easy way and I didn't proceed with that a year ago when I first wanted to because we'll call it my ego my fears kicked in and said well no one's gonna pay for that no one wants that no one wants that from you they want to learn business from you. They want to learn strategies of how to make more money and how you had success so fast in your business. That's what people really want, Jen. People want to know how to make money. That's what they want. So for a while, I, I, what I did was, I, I think about kids and I think about this analogy of, you know, maybe kids only want the chicken on their plate or the, the meat or whatever on their plate and you kind of mix in the vegetables so that they'll at least get some vegetables. Um, you kind of trick them into having the, the vegetables in with their main course or whatever they actually want to eat. 
So I thought, okay, I will do this business thing that people are asking of me and, and wanting to pay me for, but I'm going to mix in this intuition piece and the spiritual piece. I'm going to kind of like slide it in there um, to really help people see the benefits of being aligned with your higher self, your spiritual self, and bringing that real authentic you, aligned you into your business. So I did that for a while, and I'll tell you, the, the vegetable parts were really still exciting for me, but if I picture a bathtub and I, I feel like someone pulled, say I had a full bathtub of water, which in the beginning of my business, which was all my inspiration, the whole reason I went into this business, the first clients I was, well, I mean, I'm inspired by all my clients, but like I was very, very ignited, very passionate, couldn't even sleep most nights. I was so excited to wake up and live my life and grow my business and, and connect with more people. And I found that when I did an honor, what I really wanted to share with the world, um, when I realized I wanted to move more into the intuition and the soul development, personal development side of things, spiritual personal development side of things, when I didn't honor that and instead I asked myself, well, what does the world want from me? What is sellable? What will people buy from me? This is a business I need to keep afloat. When I did that, it's like someone took the plug out of my tub and the water slowly but surely started draining out. And this is what I would really love to save you from experiencing in your own life and in your own business if you haven't yet or if you feel like that might be happening to you now. Um, I want you, I encourage you to ask yourself, what is my voice? What is my message? What do I want to be putting out into the world? And don't worry if not everybody wants it or if everybody's ready for it. Don't worry if your friends won't get it or your spouse doesn't understand at first or you know whatever it is, that's okay. Find people who do. Link arms, join forces with the people who do understand. Find them and seek support from them, support them back. Get clear on what you are being called to share with the world because that message was placed in your heart, in your soul for a reason. It, it's not an accident. The universe does not make mistakes. So trust that what you want to put out in the world is meant for you to put out in the world. And don't worry about, well, but I, I really think people just want to learn how to make more money or I really think they would prefer if I created this kind of program or if I angled it this way. No more thinking like that. It does not serve you and it's not serving anybody else either. Stand in your power, stand in your truth and watch how people are magnetized by your energy. And another thing that I want to share is that people are a lot more in tune, um, a lot more awakened in the, in even, I just feel like it's happening even more rapidly recently. Um, that I feel like, yes, there's still people who they just want to make a lot of money and have a lot of material things and that's all good. And if that's where you're at, awesome. But that doesn't mean that you need to serve those people. If that's not who you're feeling called to serve, if you're feeling called to someone, uh, serve someone on relationships or, um, motherhood or health or um, whatever, spiritual practices, energy healing, whatever it is, do not worry that it's outside of the mainstream box because people need what your soul has been given to share. So I would really encourage you to dig deep and connect to what that is for you, what fires you up from the inside out, and speak that truth out into the world. And when you're doing that, you will also have the inspiration of what programs to create, or what content to create, or you know how you can serve your clients one-on-one, -on -one or however you choose to do that. So, oh yay, Jennifer, oh I'm so happy this was for you then. I, I felt this like bubbling out of my chest, I'm like okay, well somebody needs to hear this. So instead of asking, what would people buy from me? What's a service that I can offer that I might be good at? What are people asking of me or telling me that I'm good at? That's fine to take those things into consideration, but please do not move forward with anything less than what fires you up from the inside out. 
trust it, trust that message was given to you for a reason and start speaking it from your soul, from your heart. Your people will magnetize to you and you will be so much more magnetic because of the energy you're radiating, because of the passion and the enthusiasm and the truth and the alignment. So whatever your message is, no matter how unique or, or off the grid it is, start sharing it and start sharing it now. No more packaging it in ways that you think other people might buy it or might like to receive it from you. Speak from your full power, no ifs, ands, or buts, no cutting corners, no hiding the vegetables in the meat, none of that, no more. People are ready for you, they're ready for your message. That's why it's been placed in your soul. Start today, start right now. I love you and I will see you next time. Hey Trish, hey Jen, yay, so happy you're here. I love you ladies, I am sorry I can't see all the comments. Hey Colleen, oh my gosh, yay, so many beautiful souls in this group. I'm so, so grateful and I'm sorry I can't see all the comments. If I didn't say hi to everybody, I will um, right now when I end this. I'm so thankful you're here. I love you, I, I truly do, whether we've met or not. Um, I know that we're all here on this planet at the same time for a reason. I'm so grateful that we've been brought together and I hope that we do get to meet in person someday. So I love you. Have a great night, a great weekend, and I'll chat with you soon.